And this is called the WIRE Act. The goal is to track the amount of money that illegal immigrants are sending back to their families in their home countries. The author of the bill is Senator David Vitter, Republican, Louisiana. Senator, welcome to the program. I just want to, want to try and make Thank sure... Thank you, I'm, Welcome, Senator. I, I just want to make sure I've got this right. If yep. I'm an illegal, I'm not, by the way, but if I was an illegal, I front up to Western Union, I'm trying to send some money back to wherever it is right. that I came from. Uh, right. You would insist that ID, I've got to have ID to do that, legitimate government ID, which essentially Correct. would cut illegals out of the picture, wouldn't it? Correct, and we would uh, significantly penalize folks who can't produce that, and we would use that revenue for border security. I think it's a common sense approach that can help pay for the measures we need to have in place to get control of this crisis. So what you want, what you, you and your fellow Republicans, you want to real pressurize the illegals already here, make it difficult for them to send money back, and just put them in a difficult position. Is that the basic goal of the Republican Party at the moment on immigration? No, I think the basic goal is enforcement. Deal with the border crisis through meaningful enforcement. Don't just throw money at the problem, particularly when most of the money, in terms of what President Obama has requested, is to feed and house these folks in this country indefinitely, to actually relocate them to other parts of the country. I think we need enforcement. If folks get across like these uh, unaccompanied alien children, we need to not detain them and release them into the country which is the most common practice now, but to detain them and quickly deport them within 72 hours. I have other legislation that would streamline that enforcement process to get that done. Now, given the way things stand in the Senate, the United States Senate at the moment, yeah. Senator Reid would not countenance uh, the submission of any of the bills that you're talking about. However... No, and un but, un it, unfortunately... I mean, but come November, sir... Uh, it's possible that the Republicans would sweep back into power in the Senate. Right. Do you then think that the kind of bill that you're proposing would pass the Senate? Well, first of all, we need action before the new Senate convenes in January. We have a crisis now, a growing crisis at the border. We need to come together around common sense solutions and act. So I hope, certainly hope we can get beyond Harry Reid's intransigence and act. But it won't. Right now, the only thing he's allowing on the Senate floor today and this week is to vote on a big spending bill. No measures to streamline enforcement in the way I'm describing. We need, we need to have both. We need to have that full debate. At issue is surely the Hispanic vote. We've got an election four months away. The president appears to be trying to draw in his base, which is the Hispanic vote is part of that base. He's attempting, I think, to secure that vote. The danger for Republicans is surely that you look harsh, you look inhuman, you look punitive, and you lose the entirety of the Hispanic vote in November. It's really all about well, that voting bloc, isn't it? Well, two things, Stuart. First of all, I have a radical idea, which is we should do things based on the substance of solving the problem, not based on politics. But secondly, I think the current crisis at the southern border is actually unifying the great majority of Americans around the common sense proposal that we need to have meaningful enforcement first, and we need to effectively deport these people, reunite them with their families in their home countries in a safe and humane way. I think that is a strong, strong, growing supermajority consensus in this country in light of what's been going on in the last several months in particular. The Senate goes on August recess within a matter of days. Yes. Is there anything going to happen on immigration and or the border? I think the House is likely to pass a bill yep. that includes some of the provisions I'm talking about as, long, as well as emergency funding. Uh, right now, Harry Reid is refusing to take that up in the Senate. Uh, what does that mean? Then, there's, then nothing happens legislatively before it looks the like August recess. Nothing happens. Yes, right? it looks like legislatively because Harry Reid is blocking even that debate, much less our passing it. Looks what do you like think the president will do, though? I mean, I mean, th there's money required to take care of those people that's already here. What's the president going to do? Uh, I think he's going to, first of all, blame Republicans. I think he's going to talk a lot about that. And I think he's going to move money around uh, as uh, necessary. But again, we should act. We can't wait for the next Congress. We should act.
But to act effectively, we need to do more than throw money at the problem, particularly if the money is mostly for keeping these folks in the country indefinitely. Senator David Vitter, Republican, Louisiana. Thanks for being with us, sir. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Stuart.